Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got a new product I'm going to show you today. And it's got something to do with these awnings here. Without further ado, let's get to it. Poles, awning poles. We're going to talk about the awning poles today. Do you ever get instances where you just wish the poles were shorter and they were more compact, particularly if you don't have a trailer? So I always stored my poles in the vehicle. It wasn't too bad if you didn't have passengers, but if you had passengers, they'd have these poles that sticking up in between them. It was always a nuisance to carry. Drifter Stockton, yes guys, it's another Drifter Stockton video. Now these products I'm about to show you, I purchased these with my own funds. Okay, not that that makes any difference. All my videos are always honest. I can vouch you for that. I'm always honest whether the products are given to me or not. I'm always going to be honest with the videos. Drifter have come up with the solution through their Drifter Stockton company, which is separate to Drifter. I've explained this before. Okay, it's Drifter Stockton is separate to the Drifter. It's got the same CEO. Okay, it's probably the only resemblance really. What are we talking about? I've got a couple of items here I want to show you. few actually. So Drifter's come out with these new poles. Now look how short these are, particularly this one. Guys, let's just take notice, okay, look how short that pole is. We'll put this aside and I'll show you soon. Okay, just remember how short that is. Alright, so what have we got here? It's a three stage tarp pole. So folded length, so I'm just going to read the specs here. So the folded length, which is folded down to what you see here, is 670 millimeters. So that's 67 centimeters. So look how short that is. The extended length, this will extend out to 1.8 meters. So it's perfect for your hexatarps. It's perfect height for your awnings, etc. Only thing about this one, and I'll show you, I'll take you out the packet. And it comes with this cool bag as well. So you see, it's a Drifter Stockton, but comes with this cool bag. So how brilliant is that? You don't have to go and spend extra money to get a bag. Although if you want a real good canvas bag, just to sell them as well. So you get two poles in this kit. And they're much the same as what you see on your hexatarp. The two main large poles. So they're pressed, stud, fit in. Aluminium, very light don't take up much room at all in your vehicle and that's what I'm all about my channel what I'm all about so we've got the base and what I like about these immediately I can see you're going to have less hassle with these Let's see if we can zoom in on that see that there so you're going to have less hassle with these blown out in the ground I mean, some ground, if you've got sandy ground, you're going to have a problem with this. Uh, but you just go to Super Peg and you can actually get these little sand, little cups that sit on the sand and they sit in there. I've got six of them in the shed I've owned for years, probably over 10 years or something. And I often always carry them with me in the vehicle. So not always use them, but they're handy when, when you definitely when you're setting up on the sand. So these, the way these go together, 
Now I'll grab a couple and I'll move over to the camera. You see here how they've got your press fit. Okay. And they've got a notch right in here. So what that does, you just press that in. Bang. Clicks in. So you've got three sections that do that. So let's go do that with the top section. So that's your 1.8 meter pole. Very sturdy. Obviously it's got a little bit of play there, not much, but you're gonna expect that because of the way it's designed. Uh, but it's very sturdy. It's got a good quality spigot on the top, which can be unscrewed. Okay, so you can unscrew that and put something else of your liking on there. You can get adapters for your GoPro camera, etc. And hold this up high. And you've got a pole extension. So that will be awesome for your hexatarps. It's the ideal height. At least it is for my vehicle. If you go back and have a look at the hexatarp uh, videos that I've done in the past. And you'll see. But now, I mentioned... It's not adjustable, but it is. There is one adjustment you, you can get. There is a short extension, 20 centimeter extension. So it's one stage extension pole. So which will take it out to 20 centimeters, 1.8. So that'll bring it out to two meters. So if you need that extra bit of height, and again, this is an option. It's not included, and it's an option. But it's not expensive. Okay. So what we can do is remove one section. Place that section in, and then put that one back in. And you've got your two meter pole then. So if you need that extra height, it's perfect. So if you've got a lot of rain off or something on your tarp or you've got a slightly higher vehicle, okay, you can whack the extension pole on if you want to bring one end higher and that's perfect. Now, I'm, see, I'm going to use this a lot on the hexatarp. This will be very good on the hexatarp. And again, you can see how quickly and how easy that is to break down and then just goes into your back into your bag like so so keeps it clean keeps them all together very warm fastened by velcro at the top and look at that you can literally store that anywhere. Okay, so now I got I bought I bought two of these extensions. So packs comes with one, so I got two, one for each pole, and not only that, I could use two extensions on the one pole. I really want to show you this. So look at the length of that. Now let's see the specs. Okay, folded length, 79 centimeters. So it's a little bit longer than this one. What was this one? Can we remember? 67. What's this? 79. Okay. Extended length. This here, let's get it out the packet first. So here it is. So it's known as a Drifter Stockton four stage adjustable pole. Now you get one in each packet. So you don't get a pair and you don't get a bag. So it's a good idea to pick up a bag. I'm gonna eventually pick, up, pick one up one day and uh, where I can sleeve these, put these in. A boot liner bag would be ideal 
that drifter makes, but for now I'll just stick with transporting and this plastic is quite heavy duty plastic to keep it safe. So this is a four stage extension. It's also got the spigot on the top, which I will show you now. So you can see there, that undoes and you can get an adapter to fit your camera as long as it's light enough. Now this, get this, this extends to 2.4 meters. That, 2.4 meters. And all you do to do that, as you see here, okay, you just twist that and pull out. All right, so it's fully adjustable, the height. You don't have to pull them out all the way. So it's got, keeps doing that. You've got four sections. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four sections. And I don't even think you're going to fit that in. Uh, but that is 2.4 meters long. <laughs> How cool is that? 2.4 meters. So this will come in handy just for some extra support in case it rains. Freestanding awning I've got sitting here. Let's just quickly briefly show you this. So it's got two drop down legs here, okay? Another one on the other side. It doesn't have the drop down legs on these poles here. So it comes with this. Now look how tall that is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Same problems I used to have with those Oz tents. And I sold that Oz tent and one of the big reliefs was not having to carry so many poles with me. So the, these new awnings now, I love these new awnings, how they got all these drop down poles and so on. So, yeah. That makes a big difference and this is really annoying. This is the smallest this will pack down to. So that's going to be replaced with some of these other shorter poles here. So I reckon Drifter if you're watching, Luke, you should get some bags made up for a couple of these as an option. A boot liner bags if you can let me know. And I'll put a link down below and I wouldn't mind grabbing a bag so I can store these two in it. And what I love about these, look at the quality of these. We'll get up close. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Just look at the quality of that. So, and it's pretty strong. You can undo this, whack a little camera on the top. You've got 2.4 metres you can extension, extend out, plus the height of yourself. You can potentially get up to 5 metres, close to 5 metres holding this up, up above you. So imagine the shots you'll be able to get with your little cameras, your little GoPros, etc. Different perspective on viewing angles and so on. You can see here, I've also got the Drifter Stockton awning set up. So I've got the front wall kit that goes on there that slides through into the caravan rail there, I think they call it. And then I could, using two of these, extend that awning way out an extra two metres. And you've got something like, what, this is two and a half? Four and a half by two and a half metre awning extension off the side of your vehicle. Lots of different options there are and that's what I love. Thanks for watching. Thank you for those who watched all the way through to the end. So till then, please subscribe. Guys, another thing, I'm almost at that thousand subscribers. I think as of last time I checked, I was on 949. So I just need that extra 51. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it. It'll help me out enormously if you could subscribe. Let's, let's try to get this subs subscribers count up, up above a thousand. 
and, and it'll be great. If you can do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. So, till next time, look after yourself, be kind to others, have a very merry Christmas and Happy New Year coming up.